So the first in the recommended category is a cover for the windscreen. This is a cover I've got at the moment. It's a little bit old, we've had it a few years, but it's a, a tailor-made screen. A company called Tailor-Made, that's T-A-Y-L-O-R-M-A-D-E make this and it goes on your front screen. I think I've got some pictures of the motorhome with it on and it's held on uh, with some that goes over the door. A bit difficult to show you in here so let me show you a picture of it and it's chucking it down outside so I don't fancy getting wet putting it on but definitely definitely recommend it. What the tailor-made screen actually does is prevent condensation forming on the windscreen um, and the windows at the front of the van when it gets cold outside um, and that's very important because when you drive away you don't want to be wiping a load of water off the screen and it really does very, work very well. Other makes you can look at um, Silver Screen is probably the more famous name um, Malenko do a universal one uh, and there are some others I've seen at shows but any one that's got um, insulation it, it's got insulation in it and it's silver so it insulates the screen from the outside world very good thing to have recommended as you can see it's absolutely belting down outside but one of the other recommendations is having a rollout awning for when it's sunny and the sun's beating down on your head and you're feeling too hot. It's really good to have a rollout awning. Actually, it's also a good idea to keep the rain off when you want to go out as well. Uh, it's not a day for awnings. This is an aqua roll and uh, you fill it up with water tap put it on its side and you use this device clips on either side gives you a handle that you can roll the water along now believe me 40 liters of water weighs an awful lot about 40 kilograms in fact and it's not that easy to to lift so i think an aqua roll is highly recommended different side you have different taps what this usually does is allows you to find that it fits most taps. <laughs> so what you want is one of these. It makes life easier anyway. It's a HEOS solution. HEOSolution.de German invention. And what you do is you plug it in and it's a bit like a filler cap. This is a pump. It's got a pump on the end of it. Crystal, there are some other makes, and that's got a hose lock on the end of it. Put the hose lock in there, drop the pump in there, in. and it sucks up the water. So, the reason you need an aqua roll is if you plan on not moving the van uh, and you're staying in one, one place for more than a day or two you're going to use some water we use about 40 litres in a couple of days i guess um, but rather than taking the van to fill it up with a hose you can use one of these aqua rolls and you just take this to the uh, water point and you fill it up it just saves you having to move the van it's as you can see it takes up it, it's a fair fairly bulky item so it takes up a fair bit of room so you have to sort of judge whether you need one of these if you've got space for it then I'd recommend it if space is a bit tight then you could probably live without it I don't use it all the time I tend to fill up the motor if we're going out for the day or rather when we're coming back because you don't want to be traveling full tanks just filling it up as you come back into a campsite uh, you can do it that way or get an aqua roll another item to have if you plan on staying in one place for a while is what's called a, a waste master made by the same people who make the aqua roll um, and it's used 
open, open that and it's used for the wastewater so there's a normally a tap under the motorhome and you position the tap above this and uh, let the water out into this and then you can roll the water to the waste disposal point so, uh, and empty the water again it takes up a fair bit of room as you can see I left it on this sofa it would take up the whole sofa um, so you have to decide whether it's worth having one of these or simply moving the motorhome to empty the water so this is our sat nav modern motorhomes or newer motorhomes tend to have the sat nav built into them these days uh, but if you've got a less new one um, get an add-on one this is a falcon navigator we uh, bought this at one of the shows a few years back we get free updates with this one so it's quite good it allows you to put in um, settings for the size of the vehicle and all those sort of things it allows you to say what your max speed is uh, what your length is either in feet or meters it's in feet on this how tall it is and if you're carrying a trailer or not uh, maximum weight actual weight and uh, if there's any sort of uh, warnings that it knows about then it should direct you away from um, low bridges and narrow areas and whatever this is the little step we've got As you can see there's not not a huge amount of height there, but uh, sometimes it just helps having a step. It helps you get in a bit easier. You're going to need something to clean the van. We use this little Dyson, we've had it for a while. They are quite expensive Dysons, but you know, even a just I mean, dustpan and broom. But think about something that you're going to use to clean the van. If you're away for three or four weeks, you're going to get mucky and you're going to need something to clean it with. Um, Dyson seems to work fine. It's on its second battery this one. Uh, you can get replacement batteries for it. And it, this one actually seems to last about 10 minutes or so, so that's quite good with the battery. The original one, the battery lasted about three minutes. It was hopeless. But yeah, much better with a new battery. Motones are actually quite tall. And if you want to clean the windscreen or something like that, I recommend a, a small portable step ladder like this this one's a, what's it called a halo uh, but it's quite useful because it it folds away and you can put it in the bottom of the locker so it doesn't take up too much space yeah so it's tucked away in the bottom of the locker and if like us you watch a bit of tv and you need a reasonable tv i mean we've got these are quite nice they're quite popular avtex TVs but key thing about this one is it runs on 12 volts it's got a 12 volt adapter if you look over here it's got a 12 volt plug so we only we only ever run it on 12 volts so it means that wherever we are we can use and watch the TV this has got built-in satellite this one I have got a video all about our TV and satellite but um, we've also got one in the bedroom as well a slightly smaller one the other thing that I think whatever vehicle you've got is worth having is a dash cam um, this is a next base um, what's the number 312 GW it was, that, it was recommended by which um, so we bought that it actually takes some really good uh, footage itself and sometimes we've used the footage in our videos so yeah it's worth having and this one's got a little connector so you can take it off easily and it just plugs on to the windscreen I'll show you that in a sec so it just, it just sort of clips on like that you just sort of point it in the general direction you're going Something I think is essential uh, where you've got a motorhome that's got no view at the back, apart from a nice hello, from a nice 
mirror at the back you need a reversing camera and this one again is another one we got at the show um, it's got a remote with it we've got a nice view of the garage door at the moment it comes with a remote control so you can change the settings on it as you're going along it's got two views on it so the first one is uh, looking back and there's another one that's look sorry there's one that's looking that way and got one that's looking more like a rear view camera and there's one that's looking down so you've got a chance to see what's directly behind you this particular camera I could have done with the camera looking a bit more down so I could see the tow bar but it's only about a foot off the tow bar so I know where the the back of the van is you're going to need an outdoor table or something similar um, we don't we didn't particularly want to carry anything too heavy with us this one was quite a nice thing it's it is a very simple sort of table it's not too big it's just enough to put your drinks on a little benefit with this one is it also becomes a little stool so it makes it into a little stool and when you want to turn it into a table just drop that on there so that's a higher gear but they call it high gear stool, stool table and if you've got friends around and you've not got a huge amount of uh, space to sit and you've got more than six people someone can just use this as an occasional chair it doesn't really seem to be the time to be talking about outdoor furniture but uh, um, a couple of chairs are highly recommended um, sooner or later it'll stop raining and uh, spring will come and you'll want to sit outside so this is jenny's chair she's got a what's it called a quest elite which is quite nice i've got a oz tent chair which i'll show you in a sec oz tent chair which is quite nice so, king glana chair all the way from australia more like a lumber region and uh, of course the thing with these from australia is they have to have pockets for your tinnies packs away into a smallish bag which you can fit under the lockers under the beds here highly recommend some form of bucket now this doesn't look much like a bucket but uh, it's a collapsible one so i'll just show you that uncollapse uh, so gives you a fairly deep bucket you can use this for carrying the wash uh, washing to the washing up point carrying the laundry or right, i've actually used it a couple of times for draining the water out of the, the waste water tank it's a very useful little thing to have like i say it folds down and doesn't take up much space so that's a collapse foldable bucket you'll never know how useful a funnel is until you don't have one um, something you'll need at some stage and it's highly recommended is this pure clean and it's used for cleaning the fresh water tank and it's safe on stainless steel boilers this is something we use from time to time if particularly in the summer um, you can get smells from the wastewater tank coming up through the plug hole so all you do with this is you you pour a little bit of this down the sink and it seems to kill all the, the nasty niffs and smells i mentioned the chocks in the in earlier in the earlier video on the essentials but how do you know if you are level well you need a little spirit level something like this it doesn't have to be a two-way one but this one shows you if you level at the front the bubble goes that way or that way and if you level side to side and all we normally do is we just put it on the kitchen work surface to see if we're level i think at the moment we're pretty level well, something you can never have too much of are maps and guidebooks uh, sight finder books atlases it's great to rely on a sat nav but sometimes you actually just want to have a look at a map see where you are and have a look what there is around 
I tend to carry lots and lots of books. There's just a table full of them. But yeah, definitely get yourself some good maps and some good books. Now from time to time, you're going to have to use the laundry. So we always carry a couple of uh, laundry capsules with us. Actually, we need a few more. We always tend to try and keep a few tins in the van. Just in these plastic boxes. You never know when you're going to need some mixed veggie or some uh, vegetable chilli or indeed any whole button mushrooms or some what's that say? Doppelverten Petit Pois so I've got something a bit more, bit more useful in, in here I think it's always good to have a, a curry just something quick that you can put on when you arrive somewhere. I always have at the back of the, the cupboard some rice. Boiling the bag stuff is nice and easy. One of those, and you've got a meal in 10 15 minutes. I tend to have a little basket here full of coffee and tea and pasta, a bit of salt. And that always lives in that cupboard. We've always got something in there. A bit of olive oil. Get that in there. And some instant coffee. Prefer this stuff, this Nescafe Azera, uh, to the ordinary instant stuff. That's pretty good stuff. Right, that's it for the motorhome recommended accessories. Uh, I've got another video coming up for the motorhome nice to have accessories. Uh, so watch out for that. In the meantime, give us a thumbs up. If you like what you see, uh, share it and remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell icon and you'll get regular updates. So see you soon.